Yes, 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 yes. I heard the young champ is hurt. I'm sorry. But at the time, you're in the presence of the highest. All you need is just a marker. Grab an autograph and get the F out. Get the F out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Fresh Off The Bow Show. It's your boy, Toby, man. Listen, 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 listen. This is a very, very, very exciting one, man. I thought we were going to leave the beef in 2022. But who am I kidding, man? Who am I kidding? But you know what, bro? I'm here for the BS. I am here for the BS. Where are all the hip-hop fans? Where are all the rap fans? Listen. American hip-hop guys, British hip-hop guys, come into the room, bro. You know what I'm saying? This one is the Ghana versus South Africa hip-hop beef. You get me? Listen, bro, I am excited for this one. If you're just finding out this channel right now, this is Fresh Off The Boat Show from Fresh Off The Boat Podcast. You get me? On YouTube, man. Click the channel, subscribe, like the videos, watch the videos, leave a comment, share them, tell a friend to tell a friend. All of my boy always says, tell your enemies to tell their friends too, man. Listen. Sarkodie, man. We thought that we were going to come into 2023 in peace. I guess not. My man said, I am not stepping into the new year without addressing this BS, bro. Some of you are wondering, what's this guy talking about? I am talking about Nasty C versus Sarkodie, mate. The landlord, in my opinion. Some people will say it's other people. In my opinion, Sarkodie is the Ghana landlord. No debate. If you want to debate, debate your father and your mother. You get what I'm saying? But listen, let's dive into this, man. So how did this whole thing start? How did this whole thing start? Nice to see. He's a rapper from, from um, South Africa. Shout out to him, though. He's doing his damn thing. You get me? He's doing his thing. So, obviously, in November, my guy came out of the doorway. He did a little mini tour. Mini tour. <laughs> Sarkodia did not shake my hands. I saw him. He was my, my goat. You know, I saw him backstage and he hurt my feelings. He didn't shake my hands. Bro, dude, buckle up, bro. Stop the BS, man. You get what I'm saying? And this is the thing about entitlement and fans and everything, bro. Someone does not need to shake your hands when they see you. You don't know what mood they are in. You do not know what's going on through their mind, what's going on through their head. They probably didn't even see you. Or it's probably like an honest mistake. You get what I'm saying? But obviously... My guy did not find it funny. It hurt his ego. Another problem that, you know, us men have. It's a beautiful thing because ego will sometimes bring out the greatness in you. You know, some of the best rappers that we've seen, they've got ego. You cannot have, you cannot not have ego and be in this game. That's a fact. You go, know I'm saying, because is your ego that will push you to greater heights. But, but then the thing is, you have to channel it properly. You've got to channel it properly. There is a difference between ego and fragile ego. But obviously, my man had his fragile ego broken, man. And he did a mini tour. You know? Talking about how Sakodia did not shake his hands when he met him and all that kind of stuff. You know? And how he's hurt. And then he proceeded... He proceeded to do a freestyle. Well, freestyle. Because I don't think that's a freestyle. If you're reading out of your phone or out of your tub or, or um out of your tablet, that's not a freestyle. We call freestyles, we call anything freestyles these days. You get what I'm saying? Growing up, 
because I'm an 80s baby, bro. You get what I'm saying? We know a freestyle when we hear one. Most of the shit that we hear these days is written rap, man. That's a fact. You get me? But obviously, he was on this, this interview, um, the Metro FM. Shout out to them. I don't know who they are. And um, yeah, let's check his freestyle out before we go to Sarko there. You get me? Because when he was saying all this, I said on the podcast, because we actually discussed this on the podcast. I'll put it up real quick. We discussed it on the podcast. If you look at it over here, it's nice to see Cloud chasing with the Sakodia this. And I said, yeah. I said he was Cloud chasing because that's a Cloud chasing move. You know what I'm saying? If my man didn't shake your hands, right, and you felt a type of way by, you either keep it to yourself or you hit him up directly. You know what I'm saying? Now, you claim that he didn't shake your hands, but obviously, let's assume that he didn't know. Allegedly, he contacted you to, to, to obviously get you in one of his songs. And you declined him twice. Your words. Because, I mean, Sakodia is saying that he did not contact you, my boy. He's saying he did not contact you, my boy. You get what I'm saying? But obviously, you said he did. Now, you could have hit him up and be like, yo, I didn't enjoy what you did. Boom, 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 boom. And you guys chop it up. But nah, you decided to go on a mini tour and everything. And also do a rapper by. I called it a, a cloud chasing move because, bro, are you releasing an album or something? Is that, are you trying to, what are you trying to do? Well, obviously, he now said, okay, cool. Boom, let's do this. One, three, two, six, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest to ever do it. Yes. Yeah. Once again, this is the reason why I don't call this a freestyle. Because if you watch the full video of his... It, nah, this is not a freestyle. This is a written rap. You get what I'm saying? We have to differentiate what a freestyle is from a written rap. Everything is not a freestyle, my boy. I be some my religion, man. It's the yeah. touchdown 326. Yeah. Mm. Look. I'm gonna let it breathe. Let it breathe, boy. Let it breathe. Yeah. Zulu man with some power. Uh, uh. See, when I first met Sako Day, he wouldn't shake my hand. That was the first two lines. <laughs> that was the first two lines, boy. I told everyone this is a cloud chasing move, boy. You don't do this. And everyone say, yo, do you know who Nasty C is? I do not give a shit. I don't have nothing against him. But I'm from an old school era of hip hop. And I understand hip hop more than most people out there. And when I looked at the whole thing, peep the way he was moving, I was like, this is a cloud chasing move. You don't do this, man. You get what I'm saying? But let's continue. Cool. I'm not too proud to say I'm still a fan, but I held a grudge and told myself to wait till I'm the man. I'll never give that man a verse, and boy, did I stick to my plan. Mm -hmm. Two requests over the years, and I declined them both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> made up some dumb excuse like I'm in album mode. Mm -hmm. Looking back on that today, I was in coward mode. And besides, those two songs are either out or old. You see, this is the best way I know how to get stuff off my chest. I'm just a disappointed kid. It's nothing more or less, but now I'm over that shit. And he's got all my respect. If he asked me to do a verse again, it'll be my hardest one yet. Right. And I was out and I cried. Media run for my album is right. turning into a mess. If you tuned in, you could guess. Right. They asked me if I knew Shata. They said he's one of the best. My honest response ended up being twisted up by the press. He understood that, so there's really nothing there to address. But I thought I'd speak on it to put it to rest and show that man some respect. Got something else to got to speak on next. I think it's time I take this back to the nest. It's been a couple of requests. You know, I tried to scratch that with A. Reese. Hard as it was to put my my pride aside, I tried to make peace. Right. It wasn't even no beef. That was petty spaghetti. Two weeks later, I'm disrespected and regretted already. Couldn't right. even get on my live with oh, no. bringing him up again. I nah, bro, he's cold. He's cold like ice blocks. You get what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even fronting on that one. You get what I'm saying? He's cold like ice blocks. He's good. He's good. Said, off him then. Something that was nothing might really turn into something then. I don't even know why we beefing, dog, but it's up again. I'm done. Nah, my guy, clearly you are beefing yourself. My man was not beefing with you. And we need to stop all this. You know, I've got an ops. I got ops here and there, but, but nah. 
so you might be briefing someone and the person don't even know you. The person don't even know who you go. Know what I mean, so stop saying that we were beef. No, you were beefing him. It's two different things, man. Down to go either way at this point. I'll leave it up to him. <laughs> And I mess with flame and a lot of anyways, 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 anyways. So yeah, he went on the store and everything, and he was talking about the whole thing. So stupid me, you know, because once again, I I came from the era where you drop next week, I'm coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like we saw Jay Z, Nas, and all that, you know. And I thought, okay, Sap was gonna reply him ASAP. My man didn't say shit. My man didn't say nada. His album dropped. That album was cold though, Jams. You get me? We thought he was gonna address it. My man didn't say shit. My man didn't say nada. Boy, everyone was like, yo, what's going on? Maybe Nastasi was right. Maybe Nastasi was right. But then you know what? As we were all celebrating the New Year's Eve, having drinks and getting drunk, well, some people, because I was sat here creating content for you lot. You know what I'm saying? As, we were, as everyone was chilling, having a good time, my man came like a thief in the night. Big sack came like a thief in the night. Bro, listen, I'm not going to waste you guys' time. We are going to dissect and break this down like an ounce of weed right now, bro. You get me? My man came through. I'm just going to pull it up real quick. My man came through and addressed the bullshit. I'm going to take this up right now. Shout out to Fresh of the Ball right now. Just go on the channel. You go, I mean, subscribe, like the videos, watch the videos, share them. You know, leave a comment and everything, man. You get what I'm saying? Because we are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, nigga. Back to Sack. My man just dropped his his new trap, man. Sack the landlord. Let's listen to this. <laughs> Yes, sir. Bro, this is this is one of them beats, right? You can never go wrong with this kind of beats. You get what I'm saying? This is not one of them drill, you know, grime. Nah, 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 nah. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Time beat. That's that's the kind of beat. Slow beat so that I can talk to you directly, slowly, straight into your soul. You hear me? Sir, uh, yeah, shit is amazing. I still got it. Mm. Man, I'm so addicted to winning. It's like a habit, bro. Shit is amazing. I still got it. He has it, and bro, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like he's getting better and better every year. You know what I'm saying? And I love the facts, right? Because I've been one of the people that that have always said that I felt that um him. Rapping in his dialect is a beautiful thing, but in a way, it was kind of holding him back as well. That was how I felt. You get what I'm saying? So, but recently, he's been rapping more in English right now. And he's not trying to sound American because a lot of people say, yeah, but we don't want to sound American. Cool, but there are other people that do not understand your language. People like myself, I don't understand the Ghanaian language. You get me? So, in this video, talking about that, I will react to the English words, the English lyrics, while you lot help me and interpret the Ghanaian ones. Deal? Deal. You don't think it's magic, you want me to pull a rabbit. Mm. Long fucking journey, my people, now think about it. Mm. I started rapping while all you niggas were stacking the wound. Oof, oof, oof. I started rapping when all you niggas were stuck in the womb. How are the sack? I've never really thought about that. How old is Sarko dear? Because. Oh, he's 37. Bro, it's crazy because 
it kind of felt like he's been around for a very, very, very long time. I mean, he's been around for a very long time, but when you've been around that long, yeah, people tend to forget that you actually are still young, you know? Shut up while he's 38. God damn. What? Stone boy is 34. Wait, is this his real age or his football age? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was thinking these guys were probably in their 40s or something, bro. Respectfully. Anyways, let's go back to this. If you're up a bit pissed, still the highest in the room. I gotta take a break, don't worry, I'm coming soon. Mm. Tommy P.I. Yes, I'm gonna wake you. I gotta take a break, don't worry, I'm coming soon. It's quite, it's, <laughs> he's coming back like the savior. Respectfully. Be out then boom. It's not an easy road. I thank God. I put in a lot of work, so they call me the landlord. He earned it. He earned it. You go, I'm saying people have to call you that. You don't have to call yourself, you know, because I see a couple man them in Ghana saying I'm the landlord, I'm the landlord. And respectfully, man, everyone is doing the damn thing. You go, I'm saying, but like I say, out here, I recognize Zach as the landlord. And that's no shake to, to anyone else. But when I look at the amount of work, his body of work, everything that he's done, I salute dude, bro. I salute him. You get what I'm saying? I salute him. Let's go. The position I play, I can't talk. I'm a big bro. Gotta help niggas who can't walk. Mm, 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 mm. I'm a big bro. Got to help niggas who cannot walk. I'm the biggest inspiration to your favorite rapper. Fact. I ain't trying to be cocky faced, I do it proper. I had a Listen, bro. Sometimes people want to tell you to be humble and everything, yeah? Humble does not pay. There is a difference between being confident, yeah? And being proud. You can be very proud of your work. You can be proud of the work that you've put in. You don't have to be an asshole about it. You know what I'm saying? But then at the same time, I don't have to be humble. Because if it was that easy, everyone would be doing it. You know what I'm saying? If it was that easy, every Tom, Dick, and Harry will do what I'm doing. I'm the biggest inspiration to your favorite rapper. I ain't trying to be cocky face. I do it proper. He's not capping. No cap. Young champ is hurt. I'm sorry, but anytime you meet the highest, all you need is just a marker. Ooh. What? I heard that the young chap is hurt. I'm sorry. But anytime you meet the highest, all you need is just a marker. That was a bad, that was a bad move, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move smart out here. Entitlement is a, is a bad thing. You get me? He doesn't have to shake your hands. Nobody has to shake anyone's hands. You get what I'm saying? Like I said before, you don't know the mood he was in on that day. You don't know his headspace. So you can't take things like that so personal and everything. You get me? I've met people... Even though I'm, I'm not the type to call people to shake their hands and all that kind of stuff. Like, but I salute people. But all I can say is, doing sax, listening party in London, the photo is right there. You know, I walked up to him. I recognize what he does and everything. I say, yo, salute to you, my guy. Let's take some pictures together, man. You get me? I did that. And he did it. You get what I'm saying? So things like this. But then at the end of the day, even if he said no, I'm not going to be hurt about it. It's his right. He has a right to say, nah, bro, I'm good today. Grab an autograph and get a fuck out. I ain't mm. got to shake your hands so you can walk out. Grab an autograph and get the fuck out. I ain't got to shake your hands so you can work out. So you know, it's not me. You're fighting your own ego. Maybe a couple things you got to sort out. That's it. I said it earlier. Fragile ego, my guy. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're beefing someone who probably didn't know that he did whatever he did. I'm not excusing him. I'm not saying that he didn't. He shook your hand. I'm not saying that you're lying. But it's not that deep, my boy. 
it's not that deep. And for you to be able to maneuver well in this industry, some things you just got to ignore. You know what I'm saying? Some things you just got to ig- ignore it. And I'm not kicking people for sack. I don't know sack from a kind of pain. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no reason to keep from. But all I'm saying is, there are some things that are not that deep. You get me? See, I ain't got no pride to reach out to nobody. I love that nigga. Yo, we go be so baggy. I'm going to be the biggest hypocrite acting like I don't cap. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. He just admitted it here, here right now. You get what I'm saying? See, I ain't got no pride to reach out to nobody. I love that the ni- I love that nigga. Your ego is so baggy. You get what I'm saying? So he probably reached out to him without knowing what what happened. Then he said, "I might be the biggest hypocrite, acting like I don't care." We all do sometimes, <laughs> cause we all, cause we all do. Cause we all do. It's like I'm crushing my own body. Do. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, I'm still a fan. Mm. But don't you get carried away, I'm still the man. I mm. never reached out, homie. Mm. But I know what you do is. Wait, hold on. Just smart ass, touching a god is part of the plan, huh? Boom. I never reached out, homie, but I know what you're doing. Such a smart ass, touching the god is part of the plan. I, I, I called it, I said it was a cloud chasing move. Now, whether he was the one that reached out to you directly, or whether his representative reached out to you directly, it doesn't matter. But the guy is saying, bro, I didn't reach out to you directly. Are we going to know who's, who's, who's telling the truth here? Or here? We don't know. I wish they can show us the DMs and that, bro. Let's see what's in the DMs. You get me? But homeboy, is claim, he's claiming that he didn't reach out to you, so, hey. That shit is old, but still work. Just like Jay responding to Lil Durk. Mm. That shit is old, but still work. That's like Jay responding to Lil Durk. Lil Durk, I think it was last year or a couple years ago, last year or two years ago, he was running around calling himself the um the the Jay Z of Chicago. That's where that line came from. He was calling himself the Jay Z of Chicago and everything, which is, hey, maybe he's saluting the big homie. You get me? But over here, he's saying, yo, that's like Jay Z. Different with Lil Durk. Lil Durk is just starting. Respectfully. Nice to see you're just starting. Respectfully. You get me? Things like this should not be a problem and everything. Because at the end of the day, you should be able to take advantage of any opportunity that you get. Sack is a big guy. And I'm not saying that he's perfect in any way. But if he didn't shake your hand, so what? Get over it. Now, he reached out to you from your words. He reached out to you twice. Just do the music, man. But then you let your ego get in the way, thinking that you were going to hurt him. But then, you're, you're out here looking crazy, boy. You are here looking crazy, my boy. You get me? That was not a bad move, for real. This is the price to pay when you swallow the pill first. Mm. Again, I'm sorry, just in case you still hurt. Mm. Ah. This right here, I love this. I'm sorry just in case you still hurt. So he's giving the boy an advice, but then he's saying, listen, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm not going to be out here acting like I'm perfect or, or trying to gaslight you or something. I apologize. I apologize. But you shouldn't move like this. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. Politics and reality, what do you cherish? Mm. Nana Twa, so I believe they when I said it. Cause free education brought me, so yeah, it deserves some credit. As uh. soon as some people heard it, turn into politics, fabricating. Pro- you know what? Well, he's talking about politics right here, bro. I, I, I cannot get involved in the Ghana politics and everything, bro. I'm just talking about politics. I don't know what's happening over there. All I'm here is to talk about the beef, the so called beef. You get what I'm saying? But if you if you really want to listen to the song and everything, go on this channel on YouTube. It's right there. You get me? Go check it out and all that. Are we gonna see a response from Nasty C, or he or is he just gonna leave it alone? Hopefully, the both of them come back and do a song together. You get what I'm saying? Like the same thing that happened with um, Twin One Savage, talking about the things that 
whatever he said about Nas. Nas did not go back and forth with him. What Nas did, they came together and now did the song together and all that. So uh, hopefully, or rather hopefully, we see the same thing with these guys. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, listen, if you love the reaction, leave it right there in the comments. Check out the video. Leave a like. Share them. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or like my boy always says, tell an enemy to tell a friend. It's your boy Toby. Follow me on Instagram, S T I double L T O B Z. Still Tobes on Instagram, or you can follow Fresh of the Boat on Instagram. And until next time, salute. Propaganda go pussy shit is spreading. I ask myself if I regret it. Nah, if they wanna kill me, then I'm ready. Now back to the main topic. I'm coming, I said, damn, I said, fuck it. I only speak when I'm moved, I'm like a prophet.